Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Wasteland 3. <coughs> Forgot what part we're in. We're in, um, I think we're in like part, uh, are we in part 7 or something? Part 8, I think. Think when part eight, <clears throat> it's never too late for part eight. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, it's been freaking raining all week, man. I wanted to go skateboarding, but no game. Yeah, part eight. <clears throat> yeah, I want to go skateboarding, but it's either windy, raining. Or freezing. <laughs> Any of those, uh, uh combination. <clears throat> so we just, uh, done with the hoons. Uh, yeah, we went back here to get the, the little modified thing for the, um, for the gun. Yeah, right here. We got the he fuse linkage. You get that here. Yeah, <clears throat> requires a weapon eight modding. Yeah, so I gotta put that on a <clears throat> a uh <clears throat> I don't know the free gun that we're gonna get right now. I mean, as soon as you get there to Denver. Rangers. Ah, oh, you fucker. This is the Patriarch. Yep, I know. Steel Town, the factory I rely on to make the guns, armor, and vehicles needed for our war effort, is apparently having some kind of internal trouble, which is making them far less reliable. So this is the DLC, one of them. I only bought one, there was two of them. I only bought one. So you're not supposed to get this until level 9, which we got. Deliveries have slowed to almost nothing, and what we do receive is often poorly made, or just not what we order. I need you to go there, speak to the CEO, Abigail Markham, find out what the hell is going on, and fix it. With all the current chaos, now is not the time for her to be falling down on the job. Colorado needs what Steel Town makes, and we need it yesterday. Get this done, Rangers. That was in bucks. ASAP. <clears throat> so with this, I think uh, the crafting was added, and then uh, more energy weapons. <laughs> hey, hey, Rangers! Hey, hey, hey. Tell your daddy the it's Patriarch that we robbed his convoy. And got his marshal's power armor. Looks good on us, too. See you soon, Rangers. Okay. We got Colorado Springs in our sights. Alright. <clears throat> well, they'll be coming. Oh, and we were very respectful of the caravan guards. You fucks were too lazy to come rescue. We built a shrine in their honor. Yeah, so you can either help them or help the... Either the Patriarch here, or the Hoon family. We choose the Hoon family. So, this is where we're supposed to go for the refugee quest. Here's a steel town. Um, You gotta be at least level 9 to get this. So we're gonna head up here to get a free uh, energy weapon. Can I go up here until you get a level 2 hazmat? <coughs> uh, shit. <clears throat> That's where, uh, <coughs> what's his name? His second son. His first son's right here, second son's right here. Liberty's down here. Liberty's down here. This, you need a level 3 hazmat. Kodiak. So as you can see, added crafting down here. 
Yeah. You gotta find the uh, the book and shit for it, or use it. Anyway, so we're gonna head up here. That's where we're gonna go. So we're here. We're gonna find. We're gonna find Liberty, and then we're gonna find. Uh, Uh, what's your name? Death. Angel Death. I was so stoked when I first um, played this game when I heard a voice. But then it turns out we're not even gonna team up with her like Wasteland 2. So I was pretty fucking bummed. You know? A group of robots stands in a open area all facing in the same direction as if you they were listening to something <clears throat> they haven't seen you um if you have sneaky shit i think you can like surprise them in the first first game if you uploaded this game without no patch or nothing you can actually beat her right here what you do is you hack into her robots and then the robots will um Turn against each other and then it'll kill Liberty. And then uh, the game ends right here. <laughs> yeah. So you pump a bunch of uh, nerd skills in this and then you just hack into the robot and, and then it's the end of the game. But they patched it so you can't do it no more. So you sneaky shit. Sneak up on them. We'll survive, require not met. You gotta attack them if you want, but you can get blown away. Go sneak up on them. You get into a flanking position without the robots noticing you. Time to strike. There's something about the look of Liberty. I don't know, I find that she's pretty hot. <laughs> I know it's a fucking video game, but... Her look design is... Oh, wait. What the fuck? I thought it was, uh... Where are we anyway? Oh, we're way over here. I like to hack that bitch. I like to hack into that shit. Another one here. I like to hack this fucker. Ah, ah shit. That ro this thing can take care of this fucking shit. Um, another one here. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. So much of that. <laughs> so much of hacking to that shit. And Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What a bitch.
No, you dumbass. No way. <sighs> See, there used to be a, uh... There used to be a, uh, Thing up here in Wasteland 2 where he tells where the enemies are. Kinda sucks that you don't get to see the enemy now. Toxin. He's gonna get damage. <laughs> Fucking clone boy. Got him blind. Can I hack into him? Can't hack it? Come on, get out of the fire. You got snowballs, you can like, you can like, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, you can like, uh, Yeah, one more strength. 
What are we? Level... Level 8. Hmm. You are supposed to get level 9 to the thing, but I don't know what happened. Uh... Oh, we need sniper. Weird science. Nerve. Do we need weird science to 6? Could be wrong. To use that gun. That stuff. Electric leakage, hack robot, deal 15% con in energy. Hack robot gains two. Hack robots now attack other enemies, okay. Mm. This one. <clears throat> nah, I don't want to use any of that ability shit. Microwave research, energy damage is increased by 0.1 bonus damage. For every point of armor the target has. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can take that. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Strength gives you more con. Means like more health. Uh, kiss uh, sneaky shit. Need more sneaky shit. Let's see. We got first aid, okay. Sneaky shit. Alarms and traps have 16 chance to malfunction. Ah, uh, take that one. Oh, Lucio. She's got nothing. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get out of here. You must gather your party for proceed. Damn, I thought it was fucking Liberty. That sucks. Quick slave. There it is. It is fucking Liberty. As you enter a wooded ravine, something makes you slow. The Koyak, a movement, a noise, a flash of light. Maybe it was just a feeling, but the night seems darker now. The hair rises on your neck. Slow, no fear forward. Show no fear forward. Trust instinct, go curiously. You scroll ahead in the low gear, eyes darting. Everywhere it gets darker and darker. After a tight turn, your headlights flash across two big metal structures flanking the road structures. No robots, another steps behind the Kodiak. The servos whine as they lock their guns on you. An amplified voice tells you to step out of the vehicle. You don't really have a choice. Yeah, I don't know her design. I like it. It's pretty, I don't know, it's just, I know it's a fucking computer, but still, it's pretty sexy. What's up, Liberty? All right, light him up. Wow, <clears throat> and I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Oh, what happened Go back to this? Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home... Tell him to hire a better class of spy. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't have said anything about her being sexy. <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> ah, damn, now I know we know why your father told us to bring you in. That's some loaded shit. We're taking you out right now. Alright, we'll deliver the message. Ha! Spoken like a true lapdog. Uh, okay, we're done here. You go now. Why do you want to overthrow your father? Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. And that's not either of my brothers. You think your father is killing Colorado? Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. 
Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masks. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... Ugh, why am I arguing policy with a bunch of gun jockeys? The point is, my father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. So she's talking about uh, the crazy Reagan people in, in Denver and then the other crazy people in uh, the Monster Mash in the bazaars. You don't think your brother fit to rule? Ha! I can see you haven't met him. No. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. I wouldn't trust either one to run a mess tent, let alone a country. To think of all the years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. God! <clears throat> it's funny because I had an AMD 570, <clears throat> RX 570 graphics card. And then my friend gave me a... Uh, uh, fucking Nvidia 2060 <laughs> and now I got a 2060 which is a better car and look at the graphics <laughs> what else should we know about victory shoot him before he talks your sanity will thank you and you'll be doing Colorado a favor not that it'll be easy getting to him he's got his followers hooked on some kind of hypno happy gas they'll do anything for him including die so um yeah, so uh, he's a crazy fucking psychopath dude, but only thing you want to take him is because we have to do three quests where we dig up three of his mom's or stepmom's grave as a quest. That's the only reason. Just part of the story. Otherwise, it wouldn't take him. Plus, no, plus he has hard ass. And we get hard ass to 10, then we don't have to fight her in the end. Tell us more about Baylor. The sooner he dies, the better for Colorado. He's the perfect puppet for some usurper like the Gippers to put on my father's throne and claim he's the legitimate heir. Of course, killing him would piss Daddy off. And you ass-kissers wouldn't want that. Might be the only way to get him out of Denver, though. Those Gippers got their hooks in him deep. Yeah, he's, that's where we're going right now. But we're not gonna re rescue him yet. Well, you we can't rescue him anyway. There's no way to rescue him. I mean, there is, but, I mean, there's a way, but, we'll see. We're good. Anyway, don't, uh, fuck, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, you could, uh, you go now. Ha! Thank you for your permission. Squad, roll out! Damn. So much of a graphics. <laughs> no, I mean, we gotta, uh, either take a computer commune side or we gotta take the Reagan crazy Reagan people side yeah we're gonna take the computer your days are numbered desert rangers the red scorpion in militia wipe you out damn for it that's the beginning you got nothing left your fucking citadel but we're still here and we haven't forgotten what you've done you can't hold out forever won't be long You know, that, that, that kind of sucks because uh, you can make a peaceful ending in Wasteland 2 Or you can like make an enemy with him Or you just kill him Which is uh, you know who I'm talking about, it's um <coughs> Bobby Uh, he had a, a dog with rabies in Wasteland 1 and we killed his dog and then now uh, then he came out with a BB gun, you know, killing the Rangers, killing him, and then it turns out he's the the main enemy in Wasteland 2. And those were your three options you can do. And uh, yeah, so turns out, um, yeah. Let's see if I have the um, the music on. Because the music's gonna come on. It's good music, but. Um, I don't want to fucking. Yeah, turn the music down. I mean, it's good music. Yeah. Just, cause it's the 
they'll, they'll block some videos and shit. You know what I mean? You know how music fucking industry is. Yeah, we can't go up straight because, uh... up there the arrow <clears throat> that's how you can follow it or you can look at your map it's right there just go straight up <clears throat> this here's dead red calling the November Fucking cowboy <clears throat> you reading me out there caballeros you all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorsey's gave you yeah, so I was pretty bummed that this is all the shit we're gonna do with uh, Angela Death after waiting all this shit. I don't know, man. I don't know why they made like her the enemy. So she she escaped from California in Wasteland Two, and then now I don't know what happened. She's like against the Patriarch. And we're sitting here to save, to help the Patriarchs so we can get food to Arizona, but for somehow she's like the enemy. I don't know. Uh, story's kind of fucked. She just left it where she like... Could've made it to where we can meet her, or meet her back at the headquarters, and then she can like join us, you know? And then she could leave again, maybe? Like Wasteland 2, but... Yeah. I was super stoked when I heard her voice, but... Yeah, obviously I was disappointed after I played the game. Knowing that we had to choose between her and the Patriarch. We read you, who's this? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Okay, switching. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal, Angie. Otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Yeah, I was stoked when I heard that, but then, yeah, you see. Who? Angela Death. Ha! Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter. But, well, things took an unexpected turn. Where are you? Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Ranger Commander has been wondering what happened to you. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you. Cause Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Why are you telling us this? Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him, but when you do, Ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. What man? How do we find him? His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, Bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. 
He could help you with Liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Doesn't sound like the Patriarch would approve the, all this. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me either. We'll check it out when we get done with what we're doing now. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red over and out. Yeah, so I don't know. Dictator, you know, it's wasteland. There's no no right or wrong choices, you know. You know what I mean? It's fucking wasteland, man. What do you want? Let's play a melancholy one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and moving on. A song to touch the heart. Yeah, the song's on, but uh, we're not gonna play it, you know what I mean, copyright reasons, you know how we do it. Ranger Command calling Team November, uh, got something strange for you. Found a list of pre-war military radio frequencies here at HQ and started checking through them. All dead except one. Don't know if it's a hoax or a trap or what. But I thought you should hear it. Up to you if you want to respond. The signal originates near your current location. Anyway, I'll patch you through. SOS, SOS, Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting aid. I am trapped in a compromised location with hostiles closing in. I require immediate extraction. Does anyone read me? SOS, SOS, Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting aid. I am trapped in a compromised location with hostiles closing in. I require immediate extraction. Does anyone read me? SOS. SOS. Secret Service Officer Morningstar requesting There's aid. There's a Team Ranger I'm team on the Morningstar. We read you. But who are you exactly? Extraction. Does anyone read me? SOS. SOS. Secret Service. Desert. Rangers? I'm sorry, but before I can reveal anything about myself, I have to know who you are. This frequency is for authorized United States military personnel only. Are you authorized United States military personnel? Hmm. Does the Rangers are descended from the 53rd Engineer Battalion of the Arizona National Guard? Is that close enough? One moment. One moment. Well, either you made an incredibly lucky guess. Or you are who you say you are. Alright. I guess I'll have to trust you. I am... Well, I hesitate to go into detail even on a secure channel. Let's just say I serve America and everything it stands for. While on assignment, I became trapped in an old military facility near Denver. I cannot disable the facility security from within, but I can guide you to where you can open it from the outside. How did you get trapped in there? That's not important. What is important is that you can free me. Now will you help or not? What kind of name is Morningstar? That's a silly question from someone named November. <laughs> uh, this smells like an ambush. We're going to pass. <laughs> nah. Tell us where you are. Thank you. This is a matter of life and death for me. I appreciate your concern. If you can find Denver's Union Station, then I can guide you the rest of the way. Keep this channel open, and I'll contact you again. Please, find me. Morningstar, out. So that's the updated brain uh, for the Kodiak. Only problem is... We got enough nerd stuff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we got enough nerd stuff. We need, uh, we need, I think we need mechanical, we need more mechanical than that, I think we need seven mechanical, seven or eight mechanical, to, uh, yeah, to, like, detect. 
attach the brain to the brain, so we have to wait. Just here to get the gun. I mean, we could help them, but I think I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we could get rid of the gippers, but it's gonna be a big ass battle. Session. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. <laughs> At ease, Sister Glory. I believe I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent some hired goons to inquire after his son, Valor. So they all named Nancy. And there's a present Regan right here. I'll be with you in just a moment, strangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Kiss ass. We respectfully request an audience with God President to negotiate and on behalf of Patriarch. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. I've heard about this thing. Some kind of sentient super weapon, so watch out. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. Yeah. So this one, what is it, tenant? Is it tenant? No, not tenant. Whatever, the defender is two of them defending. One, capture her guard and cut them all up. Cut the arms and the legs and just left the head and the torso and fly them in the sky with blood dripping and shit with, on a kite. And the robot what he does is he heals and help people. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? You let a talking statue. Okay, uh, is this some kind? Your God is awesome. Thank you. But please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. The funny part is, it's like, it's like present day uh, in 2023. Like the present day United States right now, you know? I mean, not really get into the politics, but you have like... Right now, you got Bud Light getting that uh, transgender to promote beer drinking against all the tough, you know, conservative crowd. And now they're losing like 26% volume sales, and everything's like taking the shit finally. So, this is what this reminds you of. So, you can take this side of a murderer versus a healer because they don't like the robot because they think robots are communists. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. Yeah, democracy. Just like, yeah, just like United States right now. It's crazy how accurate this thing is. And this came out in 2020, two, three years ago. Because Reagan, he, I guess when he was president, he, um, you know, do a lot of fucking. Against communists and shit. And I entered your land to heal the injured humans. See? He's a good guy. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co -co communist? See? Communist? Laters. <laughs> As for the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Oh, shit. Let's give her a second chance. 
go and uh, sin no more. Yeah. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour yeah. you. So you can, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Thus is justice crazy. done in America. Mm. God bless us, and God bless God, President Reagan. We promise we destroyed him. Sorry to him. keep you waiting, <clears throat> but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the shining city on the hill. So if you help get rid of the communist robots, uh, I should reward you with a gun. It's like a one-shot energy gun. And then the oil will be flowing to Colorado Springs. Because uh, they own the oil, I guess. And if you don't, then we don't get no oil. They heat up the walls for defense, for defenses. And we don't get the oil to heat up the gas and all that shit, so... I don't know. Nice work blowing up that robot. That's what those... Rust buckets deserve. So why didn't you kill the hand helpful robot and not the psycho who skinned your Colorado commando? First of all, I didn't kill it. Ronnie did. <laughs> Second, the will of the God President is not to be questioned. If he spares one sinner and not another, there must be a reason. Okay. Now, if you still want <clears throat> to discuss Valor Buchanan, come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We will receive you in the sacred server room. Good day. <gasps> Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we paused the patriarch soil. And Mother Nancy herself offered you an audience with Ronnie. What an honor! Good save. So, uh, we could help her get rid of the gippers over here. Or, um, or we could just leave, go get the gun, and then we can leave, and then go to the bazaar. Okay, we'll help her out real quick. Haven't seen you around these parts before. Glad to see somebody well fed for a change. Most of our visitors are refugees. Well, you must be special somehow. Or you wouldn't be getting to meet the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? <clears throat> I wonder why they didn't put Nancy there. Sister Nancy Glory, I wonder why they didn't put Nancy. They probably forgot. <laughs> How did you and Mother Nancy <clears throat> make that statue kill the com communist robot earlier? Mother Reliance said that God... God pushes attack your troops, so why sit him free? Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. Yep. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Yep. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. Okay. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving not for cannibals call me computers pinko robots or filthy plain savages not for anyone <clears throat> those godfishers seems a bit too close for comfort need some help chasing them off how did you and mother nancy make that statue kill the communists earlier so your name is nancy glory and your boss is Nancy Reliance. Why are so so many Nancy names? We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife, back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. Hmm. I love my Nancy. <laughs> Fucking President Reagan. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. <clears throat> we could use a rebrief on those godfishers. The godfishers? 
Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. So, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. How did you and Mother Nancy make that statue kill the communist robot earlier? Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the gold, President. Ain't that right, sir? I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, that statue is actually God President? We thought he was inside. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Hmm. That robot helped you people, so why did you the Reagan kill it? Well, because the robot was a commie, Damn commie. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. <laughs> a tree? It's all part of his plan though. No way. I know that. This godfisher seems a bit too close comfort. Need help chasing him off? Yeah. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get it. too close, but he ain't mobile. And Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck... We'll see what we can do. Well, thanks, Rangers. What else uh, can I do for you? Um, take care, Glory. You too, Rangers. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Okay. Do you ever question your fate? Of course not. Uh, neither. Praise the Gipper! You'll find the God President in the back. Big door. Can't miss it. Okay. Alright. So here, you could either get a armor modding or a free gun. But you gotta have, uh, nerd stuff. I think you need five nerd. Or six. I could be wrong. So this is Nancy Force. A squat bulldog of a woman wipes her hands with uh, oil stained cloths. Her work belt is overloaded with tools and guns. Hey there, friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife, and his armorer. Made all our guns, armor, explosives, and that commie killing Ronnie statue out on our front porch. There's weapon modding. You can get a weapon modding um, book. Impressive. Damn right it is. But thanks for saying so. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Hmm. What made you choose this trade? Ronnie called me to it during one of his spells, way back when I was a girl. She has hands of iron for forging steel, he said. When a god tells you your trade, you best listen. How'd you build that robot anyway? Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Blood, sweat, and tears. Scavenged and smelted the plating myself. Hand ground the laser lenses and spent a year wrapping the wiring. Also hunted and killed 30 or so scar collectors because I had some parts I needed. Steel, servos, and such. She winks. More than a few of the statues, bits, and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to America's fighting president, right? 
Yep. It's really impressive. Of course it is. I made it. And it's imbued with Ronnie's spirit. It's an all-American ass-kicking war machine. Yeah! Hey. You do some fine work there. Well now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? See, okay, five nerd stuff or you can get weapon modding. You can get the modding book or you can get the weapon. We can get the the weapon. So the AI inside remote controls the statue in outside and its defense system impressive. <laughs> Wasn't easy. Months of coding the connection to Ronnie. About a hundred miles of cable. And the testing was a nightmare. <sighs> Worth it in the end though, if I do say so myself. Nope. That reminds me. Neutron I've projector. Got some leftovers from that job taking up valuable space. It's yours if you want it. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Oh, we will. What do you got for sale? Sure. Have a look. So I think they got like this shit right here. Chemtech chess. But um should give you uh She'll give you like fucking discounts later, you help her. Talk to Welcome again. back, Rangers. What do you need? Goodbye. Hey, before you head out, I think you might be able to lend the Gipper Armory a hand. Okay. Those commies at the airport have some cute tricks when it comes to repairing both machines and people. Doesn't matter how hard we blast them bots, they always come back in perfect shape. And it's the same with whoever they heal. Even godfishers. If you can find out how the bots repair themselves and humans, Frag grenade, it will help me Molotov. A lot, then I can design weapons to make those repairs impossible. Come through and I'll give you a discount on my stock and a few supplies to boot. Okay, sure, we'll do a good look. Thank you, Dipper. You're doing me a great service. And if you talk to the Wyman, don't tell her a damn thing about this. That woman is a taint on the Gippers, and I refuse to share resources with her. Find that data. Okay. Alright, so it's gonna be a, take a while to do the fight the Gippers. So we're gonna end up, uh, we're gonna end the video here after we modify this gun. I'm gonna quick save first before we modify this shit. Oh, we can't even do it. Need an eight. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What does she have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. All right. Yeah. So when we come here. We'll do part nine. Yeah, which is like a little bit. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you guys next time. Enjoy, alright?